Hi, I'm Peter Starr, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at American University. Whether they study the arts, humanities, social sciences, or natural sciences, all of our students, graduate and undergraduate, learn from leaders in their fields. The College of Arts and Sciences is probably the most diverse school at a university. AU has done a fantastic job in bringing these diverse fields together. In any field of study, there's sort of a feeling of exploration that you want to find kind of the outer limits of what you're doing. One of the great things about art is that it's so poorly defined, and that can be frustrating for some people, but I think it's a great invitation for others. What makes us human, you know, it's that creative drive. For me, anthropology is a tool of social justice. Justice. The one word that comes to mind when thinking about the AU student is engaged. They're engaged in their studies, but they're also engaged in the world. You know, Washington is not thought of by most people as a science town. It really is. The National Institutes of Health, NIST, EPA, there are so many places here for scientists. If there's an area that you're interested in, someone in particular you want to talk to, sooner or later they come to DC. We've had class programs where we actually have to go and talk to a congressperson on Capitol Hill. It's really cool to actually get to do that and you can just take the metro or drive there. DC, you know, is a town that's built on words. So it's, it's a town for communicators. You know, I never know what opportunities are going to come to me just because I'm in D.C. Most of our students at one point or another take an internship with a nonprofit on the Hill, maybe an activist organization. We have strong program connections with the Hershorn, with the Phillips Collection, even with the Smithsonian. I think there's such a diversity of research interests. We have one student who uh, was doing pre-med. Now he's using his audio passion to figure out how music can help as therapy for dementia. I was privileged to be part of the six-person team that excavated Homo naledi, which is the new species of early human relative that was discovered in South Africa. Our program in health promotion management is the oldest program in the country. We are leading the change to help people live healthier lives through the decisions they make or the policies that they create. History has always been a major part of my life, but I didn't really think that it was a career until I came to AU. I'm unbelievably excited and honored to be able to do something you don't get a chance to do often, which is to build a national museum. There was a gene known as TPL2. We were the first to show that this gene could be a tumor suppressor to getting a form of skin cancer. My graduate students play a large part in helping to gather the data, analyze the data, and they end up being um, first authors on the publications that result. So really what you're learning most about is how to be a researcher, how to be a scientist. And that's something you can't learn in a class and you have to do that in the lab. Something that really stuck out to me about AU was that it really encompassed every aspect of health, the psychology behind it, the diet, the fitness. Part of what makes AU special is that ratio of faculty members to students. They were here to make sure that you succeeded. One thing that's really exciting for me is to be able to collaborate across disciplines within the College of Arts and Sciences. It's an awesome experience. If, if I had to go through the whole process of applying for grad school and finding a program to do again, I would still pick here. You really have to grab onto every opportunity that AU gives you because it gives you a lot of opportunities. At AU, you can shape your career in life and maybe even change the world.